Chinese President Xi Jinping is pushing to make China into a soccer superpower and have China host and qualify for the World Cup. To discuss the country's soccer ambitions is Dong Jun. He's a sports podcaster with EI China Limited. Um, some really lofty goals there by President Xi to get China to qualify for the World Cup and also host the World Cup. How much of a struggle is that going to be? Well, actually, uh, the biggest or the highest level on the, on the national level guidelines or uh, uh, targets with vision have been mapped out. Uh, it was mapped out back in 2015, and so far only three years after that very high profile uh, guideline was announced. So uh, I think China, from the government to various levels of uh, football developers, are, are still quite patient. They, based on that plan, they didn't ex anticipate China to qualify for the Russian World Cup uh, and that immediately. But based on the plan, China would have uh, a few more years to go to see what happens uh, when China plays in the Asian qualifiers for Qatar. Uh, but that plan is a very comprehensive one, and China understands very, very well, and all the success on the national level must be based on a very solid pyramid. Uh, like, uh, you know, increasing number of young kids uh, started starting to play uh, soccer on the grassroots level, uh, just as demonstrated in the previous report on your program. Yeah. Um, and we're also seeing some big name soccer stars who've left Europe to go to China. Is that helping to also grow the interest in the sport in China? Well, uh, yes, uh, because the popularity among China's leader, top leadership does uh, boosted uh, the enthusiasm and passion, uh, not only from uh, the popular side, but also from investors from on the commercial side. And that has already made uh, the top level, uh, top notch Chinese professional league, uh, one of the biggest spending, money spending leagues in the world. I believe is now currently ranked uh, number three or number four in terms of total value. But that also serves as a, for commercial uh, purposes as well as entertainment uh, values uh, in addition to soccer itself. We have to acknowledge that and there must be some bubble uh, in the short-term spending uh, as well. Uh, but at the same time, it is in indeed attracting uh, some of the world's uh, finest coaches and players uh, to make the league more entertaining and attractive to those people who are relatively distant from football. One sports writer wrote this, uh, a challenge for China is it does not have a culture of developing football talent, leaving one to ask, where will it come from? And as you alluded to that story we just saw, I mean, they didn't, they didn't really have fields, they had to construct those, and, and even the teachers don't really have a background when it comes to football. How much of a, a, a hurdle is that for China to overcome? Yeah, those hurdles have been there for, uh, for several decades. Uh, despite the, uh, the enthusiasm developed over the last 40 to 50 years, you know, right after China's uh, opening up uh, reform back in the late 1970s, uh, the Chinese football team, uh, national men's soccer team, was good enough to narrowly miss the Asian qualifiers for the Spain uh, World Cup. And the decades after that, uh, you know, on the grassroots level and popular level, uh, the, the solid development has been missing uh, over the years. But after 2015, uh, when the National Soccer Development Plan was mapped out and announced, within three years, uh, the target for the first five years has already been fulfilled mm -hmm. in terms of the number of primary and middle schools with very systematic soccer training programs have already been achieved within three years, mm. two years ahead of time. And that means an increasing number of young kids are playing football now, uh, along with the, the growth of numbers of uh, uh, soccer training teachers, coaches, uh, and as well as uh, you know, referees, uh, and even tournament officiating uh, professionals. Yeah, so it's, it's already kind of moving at a nice quick clip. Uh, Dong Jun joining us from Beijing, thanks so much.